Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my September 2019 TBR. So this TBR is a little bit different than my normal TBRs. I will be doing a TBR jar pick this month, but basically the rest of this TBR is all themed and I have been wanting to do this since January and I am calling this project of mine Stephen King September and basically as you guys might be able to tell by the name of it I'm reading all Stephen King books this month. There is a couple of books besides my TBR jar book that are not Stephen King books that I want to read and I will talk about those at the very end but yeah I have a ton of Stephen King books. He is one of my favorite authors and one of my goals for this year was to read half of his work. So I'm going to try to achieve as much of that as possible in the month of September. And that's why I'm doing this TBR. So without me rambling on any further, let's jump right in and get started. So the first book of Stephen King's that I plan on reading in September is The Stand. This is a classic piece of dystopian literature. You guys know if you've been following me for a while that dystopian is my favorite genre. And this is a book that I wanted to pick up by him since I got into King's work last year. And I don't know much about it because it's dystopian and it's King and I typically go into his novels not knowing anything. This is a chunker of a book. It is the longest book by him that I own. It's well over 1200 pages long. So I would like to get this at least started by the beginning of the month, end of the month. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm really excited to pick it up. The classic of Stephen King's that I would like to read is It. And this is one of his most famous work of all time. Obviously this has been turned into two, soon to be three different movies. And it's another over 1,000 page book. So again, I would like to start this this month. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what it's about. It is a horror novel about a killer clown. So yeah, this is on my top 10 to read in 2019 list. So I would like to get this done again, or at least start it this month. So yeah. That is another one. The next book of Kings that I plan on reading is another chunker and that is Needful Things. So this one is a, I don't know how to describe it. It's like kind of got some urban fantasy elements to it, but it's also got a thriller aspect. So it is taking place in Maine as most of Kings work does. And it basically is following this pawn shop where it has everything that you ever need in it. And you have to like, play pranks on the town in order to get that stuff. So the reason I picked this up in the first place is because number one, I heard really great things about it. And number two, it was on a video recommendation that I will go ahead and link down below about books by Stephen King that are perfect for Slytherin House, which is my Howard's house. So I figured I'd pick this up. Again, it's another long one, but I can't wait to read it. Next we have Different Seasons. So this is a short story collection by Stephen King. And I know only a couple of stories because one of them has turned into a very famous movie and that is The Shawshank Redemption. I saw this over at Chelsea Dowling Reed's channel uh, sometime last year and I have actually never seen The Shawshank Redemption um, but I have heard really great things about the movie so I want to check out the short story before I do watch it. So yeah that's one. We have On Writing. So this is a very well acclaimed book of Kings that's all about his writing process, how he writes, how he comes up with the story ideas. I have heard nothing but great things about this. My professor from my creative writing class last year actually recommended this to the entire class, not just because it was by Stephen King, but because it's actually a really great piece of writing advice. And if you guys do not know, I've been writing a fantasy novel for about two years now, and I am looking to get back into it. So hopefully I can learn a lot about writing from this book. Next we have Revival. So this is the shortest book on the CDR, I believe, that I own by King, and it is pretty short. It's still over 400 pages, but this one, again, I don't know much about it. I like to go into King's novels and most thriller and horror novels not knowing anything at all. I know this one is about it's in another town in Maine and I think it follows a priest and I think it has some Frankenstein elements just based off the cover so I think this is gonna be the first one that I pick up so yeah that's that one. And the last Stephen King book I have on my TBR for this month is 112263 and this is another huge book. It is not as long as it and the stand but it's, it's a chunker and this one I've been hearing 
so many great things about for a while now and this ironically was the first Stephen King book I picked up when I wanted to start reading his stuff last year. I picked up the audiobook from my library. I unfortunately had to return it by the time I actually started it but I went on to read Mr. Mercedes which is one of my favorite books of last year and yeah I just want to give this a second chance. I was enjoying the narration from what I was hearing when I did have the audiobook on me so maybe I'll return to that this year for this um but I really have my hopes up it's about the assassination of John F. Kennedy and yeah again another very popular one that I really hope to look on to some non-Stephen King books that I would like to read the first one of those is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass this is book four in the Throne of Glass series this is a reread for me if you guys do not know I've been participating in the Throne of Glass read along that's hosted by Miss Hassie Cassie and Brittany's Bookwine all the details are always down below for you guys I have been a part of the live show for the past four books. I've been a part of the first three novels as well as the short story collection and our live show for this book will be on September 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Britney's channel. Again all the details are linked down below for you guys. So again a reread for me. I love this series. I have yet to finish it. I'm up to the last book so I'll get there eventually. But yeah, really excited to dive back into this. The last book I have on my TBR before we pick my TBR jar pick is going to be the Chapter by Chapter Book Club Book of the Month for the month of September. If you guys do not know, Chapter by Chapter is the book club I run over on Goodreads. The link is always down below for you guys if you'd like to come and join us. But this month we are reading House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. So this is a book that I had seen going around on booktube for a while now. Um, I saw Reagan over Peru's project pick it up at the beginning of August and I was intrigued and then it came my Allocrate. I also have a copy from Book of the Month and I am even more intrigued because I've been hearing so many great things since then. So this is a YA urban fantasy novel. It's a retelling of the 12 Dancing Princesses fairy tale which I have no clue what that's about. But basically we are following our main character who lives in a manor by the sea and she used to have 11 other sisters but since then four have died and there's mysterious circumstances surrounding it so there's like a mystery element to this fantasy story which I'm really intrigued by and again it sounds really great I've been hearing really great things about it so I'm excited to pick it up and again the link to the Goodreads group is down below for you guys. Now the last book on my TBR will be picked out of my TBR jar if you guys have not seen me do this before it's pretty simple I pick one title out of this book char every single month I try to read it so let's see what this month's pick will be. I'm shaking it up and now let's pick a little slip out so it will be this one right here and the book that I have chosen is oh I'm really excited about this one let me go grab it. So the TBR jar pick for this month is going to be Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. This is the original screenplay to go along with the movie franchise and I have a feeling that I may love this I may not like it. I do really enjoy the movies that these books are based off of. Um, they are not my favorite thing in the world but I do really enjoy them. I've seen both of them and yeah again I really like them. So I'm excited to read the book. I recently re read the first book in the Harry Potter series in August. You guys will hear about that in my August wrap-up which will be linked on the screen and I just have been in a Harry Potter mood ever since. I just want to read all the Harry Potter books. So I'm excited to have this on my TBR. That is everything I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan on reading in September. Because I would love to know. And as always, all my social media links are linked down below for you guys to check out. So that you follow me on any of those. And all being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!